Welcome to Sew Very Easy. My name is Laura and last time on the Simply Sewing series we made a pair of pants using the straight grain lines and the direction of sewing. And today I want to touch on the importance of the direction of your sewing and a tip on pinning. The direction of sewing is very important when we are sewing garments. We have the left and right, the front and the back of the sewing and we want the fabric to hang the same way in the garment. To do that, not only is grain line important, but the direction of sewing is important. When we look at the machine, we do have the feed dogs on the bottom. And those feed dogs take that fabric and they pull it in. That's what moves the fabric from one side to the other. When you have two pieces of fabric together, the bottom feed dogs pull the one layer and then that top fabric sort of is going along for the ride and it's just sliding underneath the foot. It's important that both those layers go at the same speed through the machine and that's why it is important to pin those layers together. You might have found a time where you've had two long pieces of fabric the same length but when you've gotten to the end the bottom is a little bit shorter than the top and that's because the feed dogs pulled a lot more than that top fabric was going in. And that is one of the reasons why we need to sew always in the same direction. So it's important that we start and we sew from the top and go down on all of the seams, regardless if it's a sweater, a shirt, pants, anything, we need to keep in the same direction. If we do one seam going in one direction and the next seam coming up, you're going to have one leg that's going to hang a little bit different than the other. You might not see the difference as you're sewing, but the garment will hang differently when you're wearing it. And even though you need to sew going in the same direction, you don't need the same piece of fabric on the top. For example, if I'm going to sew this pant leg, I'm going to start from the center and sew down. And I'm going to do that to both sides. The one side, we're going to have the back on the bottom and we're going to stitch down. But when we turn the piece over to do the next seam, we're going to have the top underneath. So you will not need to have a lot of fabric in the arm. You can just turn the fabric so it's comfortable to sit on the machine. Now saying that, there is a tip about pinning those seams. There are many different ways that we can pin the layers together. We can have the pins so that they're going along the seam. We can also pin them so the pin head is inside. Both of these systems work great. However, when we do not know the direction of the sewing, it's better if we have the pin heads so that they're pointing out. I like to do it this way because that way I don't have to worry about the direction of the pins as I'm sewing. It's very easy for me as I'm stitching to take out the pins if I can see the pins. But as I sew a second side, if the pin head is facing in or is along the edge, I can't see it as I'm stitching. So I would have to stop and repin or put my hand underneath to try to remove those pins. But if I can see those pin heads, it's very easy for me to pull them out. Even though the pin has been pinned on this side, I can still see those pin heads and it's very easy for me to pull them out as I'm stitching. So stitching those seams in the same direction definitely gives the garment a better drape. Thank you for joining me today on Sew Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.